Uh, okay, so uh, this is going to be another uh, Necromancer Battleground guide for uh, this patch. I let the patch settle first because uh, there's there's a lot of uh, uh, difference in playstyle since uh, the last patch, uh, mainly because of how the uh, how tanky people are nowadays. So uh, <clears throat> okay, so I'm gonna make. Uh, few guides for different types of resonance because uh, depending on your resonance you will be uh, you will be capable to do uh, a build uh, effectively uh, it will it will entirely depend on your uh, on your resonance level in a in a match so uh, with that said i'm going to start with the uh, with, with the high resonance whale builds uh, since uh, not a lot of people have like max resonance or whatever so uh, I'm gonna start with that just to get it out of the way so a previous build that was uh, that was popular uh, before the patch is, was this build six piece banquets and uh, you have a corpse lens build with the shield uh, soul fire and the uh, the resurrection so uh, you can people I've figured out that uh, it's not as effective nowadays because of how how tanky people are you, you it's hard to uh one shot people with the with the banquets but you can still play this with the with the addition of void spark uh the reason why is uh void spark uh pretty much spreads spreads the poison to everybody the w one of the weaknesses of uh, the six piece banquet necro of this build is that uh you pretty much have to uh to <laughs> to single target everyone if you want to spread the poison but uh, with the with the introduction of void spark uh, by attacking, you're, you're you're pretty much doing chain lightning, and the chain lightning will will trigger the six piece banquet poison uh, because you only need to damage. Once you once you have the poison buff, you can you just have to damage people, and uh, it, they will get the poison. Uh, another trick that I would like to do, and it will include in my best in slot, uh, in my best in slot uh, gem for the high reso builds is a hellfire fragment with starfire shard with void spark so uh, i know a lot of people don't like hellfire fragment and it uh, and it makes sense the damage is low it's uh, not so easy to trigger uh, due to the uh, due to being melee but for necro it's a different uh, story because uh, this is really good as a trigger for starfire shard and starfire shard once the once the damage over time from the meteor comes it will also trigger void spark so the idea is uh, when you use rate form, Hellfire Fragment will will uh, will proc. Once uh, once it procs, it will hit someone while you are invulnerable, uh, and then that will trigger Starfire Shard. Starfire Shard will now trigger also a six piece banquet, and the six piece banquet will be spread out thanks to Void Spark. So that's pretty much. Uh, so you're gonna do the same build from before. It's still viable as long as you have Void Spark. So okay, so the other the other high reso build that I would like to introduce is uh, this build. So we're not we don't have any uh, resurrection, but we are going to have uh, a skeletons, call for ice and uh, and the no rest no peace. This will give everyone in your party, including you, thirty eight percent increased attack speed, uh, which is a, which is game breaking. Uh, you're giving everyone high attack speed. You're giving your wizards your blood knights. Uh, increase attack speed that's uh, that's a huge buff and uh, one one bonus of this is that you get 20% damage reduction because you have skeletons and uh, you will you will be using the prong so that way you can spam you can spam the uh, the skeleton explosion for the buff see so that the thing about this buff is that uh, it is two screens two screens range so if you are here for example you are here and you throw it you throw the skeleton here so you see, I get the buff, but the, even the party members within this area here, they will get the buff. As, uh, wherever the skeleton explodes, uh, they will get the buff. So it's a really far uh, wide range, two screen, <laughs> two screen wide range of uh, of AOE for the buff. So the nice thing about this also is that for the corpse lens, you're pretty much uh, unlimited. Uh, Unlimited uh, corpse lens due to the skeletons dying. So what you're going to do with this build is uh, you have six piece banquet. You are just going to pretty much stand on the uh, on the idol, and uh, 
spam skeletons corpse and spam skeleton corpse and you're just gonna you're not even gonna move you're just gonna stay there wait for him and then just uh do that so uh one of one of your one of the main triggers for the six piece banquet is uh this revenant wind unfortunately you, you wouldn't have a midnight stroke of midnight but that's okay so uh, the nice thing about this is that yeah you're pretty much going to be able to tank thanks to thanks to this uh and uh what else? So for the forges, I've uh, I've done a lot of uh, thinking for the forges, and I really prefer five five out of five uh, five out of five. Uh, what do you call this? Uh, barrier, including the uh, the damage to undead, and it's not because of this affix. So uh, just to let you know, the affixes, each and every one of these affixes, they are reduced by strife. So uh, if I get two percent attack speed, that will be reduced by strife by sixty six percent. So uh, a lot of these uh, affixes are gonna be reduced by strife. But one thing that is not reduced by strife is the family bonus. So uh, the tree, the tree set of this is already strong. It's a shield, and uh, like I said, tankiness has really high uh, high potential in this patch. And uh, you increase ten percent for for each extra upgrade. You are increasing the 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 strength of the shield by ten percent. So uh, two upgrades will increase the the strength of the shield by twenty percent, and uh, each and every one of that is five out of five uh, five out of five. What they call this a uh, barrier? That means I am increasing my uh, barrier by uh, by a hundred and sixty percent, and and this is also re the cooldown is also reduced the more you have up to eight up to eight uh, pieces. Previously it was only up to six pieces, but now it's also up to eight pieces. I've done some uh, counting and uh, the cooldown becomes eight seconds. You you have you pretty much have three mounted banks, four piece mounted banks, by having uh, all five uh, all five barrier. You have four piece three mounted banks <laughs> uh, every eight seconds. So uh, so yeah, that's the idea. You're still gonna use the six piece blanket and uh, so this is my preferred best in slot for the gems. And uh, this one has a little bit of support because you're going to give your whole party a lot of attack speed. And I very much prefer this one over the uh, the standard uh, standard banquet build. Uh, okay, that's that's for the high reso build. And I'm not gonna talk about the uh, the teleport build. Uh, I'm not really a fan of it. Uh, mainly because you, you're not gonna be using uh, Grave Dirt's uh, weight, which is uh, really important in my opinion, especially now with how uh, with how important tankiness is uh, is in this uh, game. So uh, that's for the that's for the uh, high reso builds. Uh, I'm gonna do a separate video for the uh, for the mid reso and low reso build necromancer. That's it.